live, baby. We live, live. We live. What's going on, team? I told y'all I was going to go live today. And I definitely told y'all we <laughs> that we was about to be doing some, uh, um, going to be trying to do a little tour or whatever. So um, I am probably going to, um, I think I want to try to, uh, I may not do the live and I'll just pre-record it so you all, um, so I can go in and cut stuff out. Um, I totally forgot I had an appointment today with my trainer, so I just left there. He, uh, I'm convinced that he is, uh, one of the devil's minions because he, the, the workouts I just did today, I, I'm, I don't even, I can't feel my arms. So, um, the, the stuff was unholy. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking we're gonna. I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna do the Boston Edison District. Um, that area has a ton of historic houses, so we're just gonna ride through. I'm gonna show you some of the parts of Detroit. Um, you all can see how the city looks. How the city looks, you know, because I I just was sitting here looking at when it came to when the Lions was. Um, uh, you know, winning and we were about to, you know, possibly almost went to the Super Bowl. People was just saying like, oh, the, you know, the Lions came, that did a lot, you know, and did a lot for the city. I was like, hold on, we've been grinding in the beginning. Like, we've been getting this, we've been going hard for the longest. So, um, you know, the city has always been coming back and this is a great time to invest. You got a lot of properties here. Um, land bank properties, uh, private wholesalers. And I do have a wholesaler that sit, that has properties for sale. So um, you guys still can book a consultation with me and I can pass on that information. Because, um, of course, land bank properties are not the only properties up for sale. You know, you have... And a wholesaler basically is like a private seller, um, an agent that get, gets a property under contract. And um, so I have um, his website. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, just comment on this video, um, info or whatever. Uh, no, not info. Yeah, just shoot me an email. Shoot me an email. At hero squad dot pm at gmail dot com, and um, I'll send over the wholesaler contacts inf information to you. Uh, just tell him that I referred you. He'll take care of you. Send you his website with the properties that he has that are up for sale. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Wholesale properties range between. Ten thousand and sixty thousand dollars, but these properties are not like in the land bank condition. So a lot of land bank houses, the roof is caved in. You know, you gotta, you definitely gotta pay for a new roof, like off rip, right? A lot of stuff is like, you know, jacked up, you know. So and if it's not messed up, then you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay a top dollar. So some of these wholesale properties run. Uh, base maybe twenty thousand dollars, twenty twenty five thousand dollars and up, you know. But the thing about it is the price is negotiable, right? So, you know, y'all chop it up with them. I just want to give you guys all your options, because a lot of times when you all book a consultation with me, and my consultation link will be in the description. So, um, and it's I know y'all saying like it is cold here, and I have. You know, I got my workout gear on, so, you know, I'll be getting to it. I got to get this belly. I can't be giving y'all this good content, and I got the ball of belly, you know. <laughs> but, no, um, yeah, so, but I want you all to know, have, you know, have all the options. You know, you have stuff. You can go on Zillow, type in, you know, some Detroit uh, zip codes, 
or just type in Detroit, Michigan, and Zillow will break down everything that's up for sale, right? That's on the MLS. But the stuff that wholesalers be selling are not on the MLS. So these are private deals. So definitely want to have you guys take advantage of that. And, um, you know, we go from there. But honestly, right now, start to finish some of these land bank properties if you got a land bank property that has a ton of work that needs to be done we got one house that probably is going the renovation cost if you're subcontracting and everything out man we probably gonna be about 80 grand um at the end now that's purchasing, rehabbing it. We almost at like 80 grand. This house is about 1,200 square feet or 13, I think. It might be 1,300 square feet. Um, and that's new electrical, new HVAC, new plumbing, two bathrooms. Wait, no. Um, two bathroom, one is a half bath master bedroom two regular bedrooms and um and this was really on a budget like we didn't even do tile in the bathrooms or nothing like that so it's it's up there if you're going to be an investor out of state trying to fix your land bank property up it can be costly so that's why you got to make sure that you're buying in the prop uh, in the right area it can definitely be costly you gotta you definitely have to do your due diligence to figure out after renovation costs if you're trying to fix and flip or fix and hold you got to make sure after the renovation cost is this are you going to get your money back and then also you want to have a builder's risk policy because you putting that type of money into the property and you don't have it protected you turn around and you know get your furnace hot water tank stolen out of there and um you're gonna be hit now one thing i want to tell you guys if you got a house that got a boiler system in it i recommend getting rid of it getting rid of the boiler system and i'm gonna be honest with you the reason being is because of course if it gets stolen that's boiler technicians they charge the highs they charge the highs so always get everything converted over to pex and the reason why i say that is is because pex pipe is not that expensive and no one's stealing pex pipe but if you got copper brand new copper in that house they're going to cut that out, and then your copper going to be at the scrapyard. Electrical, you may be safe there. You know, crackheads be stealing electrical. You know, hope that doesn't offend anybody, but crackheads be stealing electrical. Because um, they, you know, try to, you know, take it to the scrapyard. And I feel like they should have, you should have to have a license or something to scrap or something like that because... They just make it too easy for people to just um, scrap or whatever. But I guess they don't care where it comes from. Um, but definitely um, you're looking at for the bigger homes. Um, and then also with the land bank, too, one of the costs that they don't tell you about is when it comes to if you if you buy a house, and the siding is messed up right now it's going to be a problem they will um give you a hard time if you don't have if your siding is not done so right now i have a compliance rep that is uh, making a big fuss about the siding not being done on one side of the property and like I told the compliance rep, it's too cold to be installed in siding. And um, this is for one of my investors. 
Um, and since I'm the project manager of the, the project, um, I inform my investor, um, tell your compliance rep why the compliance rep was on the phone. I said, hey, tell her to put me on the file and to be the contact for this because I like to alleviate all um, pressure and issues or whatever uh, when it comes to different things. So if you close up a door in the property, you have to professionally seal it up, right? Show either put siding on it, but I was told in the past, if you close up a doorway, you need to, and it's, it's boarded up and not being used, you need to paint it either the color of the house, if it's OSB, and then show on the other side that it's, um, it's not being used, which that's what I did. And this particular compliance rep is being petty. And I told her, like I told her, I said, hey, I said, out of all the land bank properties, you want to give us a hard time. You never had to say, hey, we missing this, we missing that or nothing. We gave everything ahead of time. We are we are beyond the compliance. We have everything in there. We it's it's done. All we gotta do is do siding and floors. You know, so just keep in mind when you buy your land bank property, even though it doesn't say it in the contract, they're making a big fuss about how the outside of the house looks. So you may have to get all new siding done. And you can't have the vapor barrier on there, you know, like how the little plastic wrap or whatever that says like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Um, you can't have that on there. They want it all one color. So they're literally making a big fuss about it. And so, but mind you, it's all about what's in a contract. If in the contract it says you must have a hot water tank furnace, uh, one functioning toilet and sink in the bathroom and in the kitchen you must have a sink and a cooking element all your exterior windows and doors in that's fulfilling the contract I don't know I mean I might need to have a conversation you know when I took my builders class because I was you know thinking about getting my builders license I technically can still take the test now I just haven't but I took the class twice and it's all about what's in a contract because what's in a contract will hold up in court. And so, like I told the land bank, even when you achieve the first layer of compliance. So once you put everything in the house that you're supposed to have in the house and then you send them four pictures of all four sides of the property and a copy of uh, the utility bill showing active usage they will uh, say, hey, you achieved compliance. Now you're going to the next step where we have to come out and inspect the property to see if you actually have a hot water tank and furnace and whatnot. So that being said, um, once they do that final inspection, they come out, they're going to turn the water on to see if the water works, see if there's water in the toilet, and then they're, they're out of there. So but they say, hey, your porch has to be safe and functional, which which makes sense. I have no problem with that. But you need to have it in the contract. If it's not in the contract, how can you enforce something that's not in the contract? So that being said, we need to have a con we need to have a conversation, Land Bank, because this is some stuff. Y'all moving the goalposts, because you know, I'm gonna cut up. I am definitely if I'm your project manager, I'm cutting up. We got one of my clients um, when she first closed on a land bank property, you have to send four pictures, all four sides, showing that you have it uh, secured and boarded up. So, of course, when you buy your land bank properties now, they have plexiglass on the windows. So she got the yard cleared up and everything like this. She had a little... Uh, tiny little shrub bush on the corner of the property. Do you notice know compliance rep denied her picture saying you still have debris in front of your house and brush. 
And I said, have that compliance rep. Uh, I want to talk to the compliance rep. I said, how you don't know we don't want that bush? That could be a flower bush. Well, you know, so it's a lot of things you have to deal with when it comes to the compliance reps. Um, but the good thing is, is you lock in with me. I didn't, I didn't did this dance so many times. I'll be telling some of the compliance reps like, like, Hey, I understand you might be new here, but this is how it goes. Cause I got this from your boss's boss, you know? So, Hey, can we correct? I have purchased land bank property and I need a permit. Okay. So you said, um, can we uh, purchase the land bank property and I need a permit? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can get you a permit. We can get your permit pulled. Um, just let us know which one you need. Um, we got skilled tradesmen, which permit, um, when it comes to land bank property, you just need one re uh, permit, um, pulled. So, um, if you want to pull an electrical permit, um, that'd be my de uh, department. You need to pull a building permit as far as, you know, you can pull a building permit, which is uh, for windows and doors and drywall. You can pull a um, permit for your plumbing. Um, if you get the toilets installed and stuff like that. Or a build, you want a building permit? Um, yeah, so a build, ooh, uh, well, a building permit, you can get, you can get one um, pulled. So shoot me an email, herosquad.pm at gmail.com. I'll get you over to uh, my guy that's a builder, and um, he'll give you, you know, let you know what that's going to cost you to uh, to pull that permit. But of course, him pulling that permit, um, he's going to have to, you know, he's probably going to have to look at the whatever that was done that needs a permit. Um, it's Hero Squad, Hero Squad dot pm at gmail dot com. Um, actually, how? Okay, I almost want a. Hmm. No problem. Um. Yeah, like, well, as long as that's in your budget, you know, no problem. Um. Yeah. So yeah, if you need a building permits or whatever, of course, we have come there and inspected. If we have to make any changes or whatever to whatever is being permitted, because. Of course, right now in Detroit, um, and this is for everybody. So the electrical code changed on the 12th of last month. So that means as of right now, we have the, uh, the electrical meter has to be, it has to have a main disconnect outside. So just so uh, some of you all don't know what that is, right? So, you know, when you go in your house, and you look at your circuit breaker box at the top. You got this big old breaker at the very top that you cut on and off. That's called your main disconnect or your 100 amp breaker. Some people may have 125, 150 or 200 amp uh, breaker. And that's what you call the whole panel. Right. So right now, the code requires you to have one of those breakers outside. So an event that your pro your uh, house catch on fire. The fire department can cut the power and they don't have to touch the actual meter globe because usually they just go in the back, yank that out, and then it'd be on the ground. Of course, so now you have to have a main disconnect out back so it can kill the power to the house. Do I like that idea? No, I do not like the idea that somebody can sit there and come and cut my power off with a switch from the outside. Now, of course, if you do do that, that's considered a felony. But at the end of the day, you can take somebody's meter out and kill the power to somebody's house. So I guess it don't really matter, right? But if you get an electrical service done now, the if, they, if the electrical contractor is not putting a main disconnect outside, that is not code. So either you get a combination meter can outside so it'll be the meter with a main disconnect on there uh built into the housing and some of them you can actually put it comes with a meter can it'd be like a nice square box meter the meter can and then also has a, a spot for the main disconnector 
and it will have like maybe three or four breakers in there where you could add breakers to it. So, you know, um, definitely, you know, definitely you want want that done. And it has to be um, you have to put a surge protector for the panel itself, too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, OK, so. If anybody doesn't have any more questions, I'm gonna try to do more lives where we just I'm just gonna spill information out. And um, but yeah, we're gonna get these Detroit tours. So if you all want to see a specific area, you know, hey, shoot me a comment, say, hey, I want to see this area, right? See this particular area. But right now, the first area we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing the Boston Edison district. So look for that video. Um, I should hopefully does any does anyone in the room need electrician? Hold on, sir. I'm the electrician. <laughs> I'm just talking. Hey, look. Hey, as long as you as long as you license, you good. I'm trying to see how I can look at these things. Oh, here we go. Hey, yeah. Um, okay, I can see the stuff. Oh, dang. I had some other people say good points, Calvin. Thought that I'll be trying to see, man, these things be tripping me out with all these dang old comments. I can't even look at all the comments. Uh, uh man, oh, John, everybody, man, I've been good, man. Oh, sure, I got a ton of comments, man. I was driving, I couldn't even see these comments, but anyway, go. Um, but yeah, so we we getting it. I am super sore. I gotta get this. I got to get this belly down. So uh, we definitely, I'm definitely working. Um, so everybody that's chimed in on this video, we're like my, the views, uh, the support has been crazy. I literally have quadruple um, traffic or whatever going to my channel. So I need all you, everyone that support me, I need you guys all to like all my videos like all the videos, please leave a comment. Let me know how you thought about what you thought about my video. All that helps the algorithm right now. The more the more you guys do that, the more free services I can provide because YouTube will pay that bill. So if you guys can do that for me, that will be great. Every like, every comment helps. And watching my videos to the end, I know I talk a lot. But then at the end of the day, I talk about money, baby. So that's 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 what we talking about. We talking about making money. We talking about starting generational wealth. Um. So let's get it. Stay blessed. If you want me to to look at a certain um in Detroit in one week, Cali, I don't want to join. Hey man, come on, yeah, yeah, come on in. We we take them all. We looking for. Oh, if you're a subcontractor and stuff like that, man, we need bodies. We need bodies. People that sit here that want to work. Um, we got a, we got a, uh, a crew of uh, a crew of Mexicans that, that uh, hit us up. It was like, hey, we want to work. I said, come on, we we good. We all brothers. Come on, let's get it. Like we, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like they was throwing down. They they came in there and threw all that drywall up. I said, shoot, they. Um, that's my uh, boy Victor. That's my boy Heavy. Um, Heavy, heavy's guys. Um, I didn't even know heavy sp spoke Spanish, oh, man. So he be getting, he be getting to it. So, but it's it's definitely a brotherhood. We we, man, we got we got people just, you know, uh, Detroit is so diverse. So we got people from all any all backgrounds coming in, um, um, getting in work because of you. Because the end of the day, it's de it's really Detroit is rebuilding Detroit. And that's what I love. So if you black, white, Hispanic, whatever, you know, come, we, 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 it's, it's all love. It's all love. Um, and I love it because, you know, we, we rebuilding the city, you know, and that's what it is. So I'm like this, we like, Hey, even some guys, we, I mean, we didn't pick some, some homeless guys off the street. I'm gonna be like, Hey, you want to work? All right, come on, come on. You can clean up, make some money. You know, so we literally, that's what we do. We, I ain't going to lie to you. We literally, this one guy, I don't even know, I don't even know what language he speaks. I think Heavy speaks the language. 
he speaks a couple languages, but we keep him together. We keep him fed. Hey, we pick him up. Like, you know, so we definitely, so whatever supports you, you all want to do, because a lot of this, I mean, of course we help him rebuild Detroit, but a lot of some, some of these guys, some of these contractors, uh, be needing just a, a chance to be great, you know? So, you know, a lot of, we feed a lot of people. We definitely feed a lot of people. We feed a lot of contractors. We even have some contractors like, hey, life is rough right now. Hey, well, you can get you a blow-up match and you can stay on site at this one house. You know, so we definitely, we definitely be getting it. I'm working tonight at the true. We have a party. Pop the. <laughs> say, we, you say you're doing a party. Man, you know, <laughs> you know, I honestly, I thank you for the invite, but I do, I do not party. I should, but I, I don't know. Shoot me an email, hero squad underscore <laughs> hero squad dot pm at gmail.com. We'll chop it up. I appreciate the invite though, but uh, I am a family man. So, you know, like right now, I'm probably about to get cussed out because my son has a basketball game. So, and doing all this stuff. Um, shoot, I, I, I I'll take you up on that the next at the next one for sure. Um, shoot, because I got working all day. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, but definitely shoot me an email, bro. You know, probably link sometime other time. All right, bet. Yep. And um, let's see here. Um, what else? What else? Um trying to think uh shoot. i think that's about it I, well, I ain't got nothing else for you guys if you made it to this far please like if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel i think everybody's looking at this subscribe because that's the only way you get notified that i got a live video so um but yeah look at find your favorite video binge watch that you know so let's get it let's get it i appreciate you i love all the support from you guys and let's let's just uh, let's make continue to make Detroit great. And, you know, and if also, also if you're making Detroit your home, please let me know. Um, yes, it's typically a, a rehab can definitely be 60,000. So the one house, the one house is 700 square feet that I got that I, that we re renovated. We haven't hit 60,000. But I think by the time we get done, we might be close to 60. But we are, right now we had like maybe 40. Are we, at, we ain't at, You know, we're not even at 40. We had like maybe 35. So it could be 60. So houses that are up under 1,000 square feet, maybe 800. 60,000 is a safe number, but that's the budget. The biggest thing is, is that you have to literally get estimates first. You need to get estimates and find a good contractor. Because if you know what uh, what type of money you're spending, then you should be good. Oh, shoot, let me. I see. I, I see. I'm gonna have to talk to y'all all the way in my house. So supposed to be. Oh, shoot. So you want to get uh, good estimates that way you can know what um, get good estimates to see what you have to uh, pay. So if if your um, electrician is going to be charging you a certain rate you need to know what that we need you need to know what stuff is going to cost okay the skilled trades guys we typically already know our numbers right electrical panel the difficulty gonna be ten dollars i mean gonna be eight to ten dollars a square foot that's the typical rate your hvac anywhere between thirty five hundred to five thousand dollars Plumbing could be anywhere between thirty-five to five thousand dollars, right? So then that's just your your mechanicals. 
You got to pay somebody to put your windows in. Um, my email is herosquad.pm at gmail.com. Can I put a, Let me see if I can put top chat. I can't even. Top chats. Or you can send me a message on Instagram at the underscore real underscore Calvin M. Um, let's see here. What else I was about to say? Um, but yeah, you guys got to be able to, um, you got to get those numbers. So plumbing, like five grand, your roof can be anywhere between, um, right now, like a small house. <sighs> okay. So the bigger houses, maybe if you, if you over a thousand square foot, Roofs just bud. I say on the highs, just budget like at least fifteen thousand. Just just seven to fifteen thousand, depending on how big the house is. Somewhere around there, that's a safe number. So if you budget the highs and you end up saving money, then that's good. But I also too, I always say like if, if you can't see no work that the person have done, you know I don't go with them. You know because it's just it's just too much. I can't be sitting here spending money on people because I ain't gonna lie to you. You run off with my money, I'm pulling up at your mama house. I do apologize. That's just, that's how I feel about it. So I need, you know, getting a copy of your contractor's uh, ID. Like, you know, because if you're using like a subcontractor, technically a subcontractor that doesn't have a license don't supposed to charge more than like what six hundred and fifty dollars. So technically, all right. So, um, but you know, you know how stuff goes, right? Um, but you gotta definitely budget this stuff out. And the hard part about it is, is that it's a lot of leg work. So if you if you find a land bank property and then you reach out to the land bank and say, hey, I want to look at this house. And then so you paid it like, I think it's like $35 or something like that to come look at the house. And then you can look at the house, you pay a contractor, hey, I need a full estimate on full renovations for this property. And they say, okay, cool. So you pay that. So now you could be somewhere around $200 in on getting estimates for this property then after you do that, you don't win the bid. So now you got a 200 some dollars or if not more, depending on how much these people charge you to look at the property. So that's why I say like it, it's a, it's it's kind of a um, it's kind of a kind of a hard type of way to do it, because that's why it's just like, phew, I don't know. So. If you renovating and uh, wanna, that's why I would say if you get private money, a private money lender, like a hard money lender, I got hard money lenders that uh, I got a broker that can find you a private money deal. Of course, if you're looking to get funding, um, right now you would need to buy, use a business name. So that property would have to be in your business name, um, or it could be in your personal name and in your business name. So that way you can, uh, if you want to do do the traditional type of mortgage re rehab loan, you can, your name is on it for your personal. And then if you try to go the private money route, you're using, a, um, using your business credit. Uh, I mean, not your business credit, but you're using your business because private money lenders require it to be in the business name. Um, personally, if you're trying to start your business then your house should be in your business name so that way you can write off all the expenses um but yeah so typical renovation costs it's, it's getting up there now in my earlier videos i talked about the renovation cost being around 20 to thirty thousand. you can get something done and that was for the customers for the people that actually are living here and you do your own work. I bought my first house I bought was 700 
No, I'm sorry. My first land bank property was I got it for a thousand dollars and I put practically I put about um oh, shoot. iPad going dead. Um I put about seven thousand into it, somewhere around there. And when I did uh and I sold it for thirty five thousand, but I did all my own work. I did my own plumbing, did my own electrical. Um, I did, I installed my own windows. I installed my own doors. Um, I was able to salvage the existing electrical. So, you know, if you look at a lot of my earlier videos, I was able to save a ton of money because I, I put it back together. The condition of that house that I rehabbed, um, I would say it'd be the prior to condition of a house that you probably will buy from a wholesaler. So, you know, it's, 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 it could be, it could be that, you know? So, you know, it's, um, it could definitely be that. So, you know, like, um, I'll show y'all like, uh, let's see, I make sure ain't nothing identifying in my kitchen. Um, Hey, I was gonna show you show you guys what I did in my kitchen here. Um, you know, I gotta be you know, out of all the good viewers, we might have a weirdo like, oh, you know, I see some personal information, so I just gotta move some stuff out the way. Mine just Saturday morning, so let's see here. But I'll show you guys real quickly. Um, what else? Swept this around. So yeah, so like this kitchen area, this is my kitchen and you know, I built this kitchen, you know? So all this was, all this was custom. So I did all this, changed the lights, um, this countertop, all, everything in this kitchen I did. These, these cabinets came from Home Depot, um, ABC warehouse for everything. So, you know, um, I remodeled this kitchen myself. You know, so, um, you know, even when it came to, yeah, let's check, even like this here, this is custom. This is, uh, you know, I made this island because the way my house is set up, I don't have a, uh, a dining room. So, um, I was like, well, we need somewhere to eat. So I, we made, I made this. And of course I don't install granite, but, um, you know, so something like this here will easily cost you somebody coming in, doing all this work here, you know, like, and I even did the floors. So this will easily cost you, somebody will be like, man, I'll charge, you know, maybe, what, $10,000 in labor, you know what I'm saying, gutting out and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? So how much this cost me? I bought the bigger, these cabinets are, I think 36 inch, 36 inches. So um, those are more expensive at Home Depot. And they, I think they're a shaker. I think that's what we call it. Um, I think cabinets cost me maybe $2,500. Um, appliances, maybe another um, dishwasher was like 400. 400, 400, like five, five, maybe 2000, maybe $2,300 for, let's say 23, 23. So we had about what, eight, uh, 23, yeah, 48, about $4,800 for cabinets and, uh, um, refrigerator and appliances. Then, after that, the countertops are, these are granite countertops. So that came out to like maybe $2,400. So we had about what, $6,000, $7,000 for countertops, cabinets, the floor, damn near like what? Probably somewhere around like maybe $10,000 for just materials. And so then a customer, a, a contractor putting it in, 
you might be at about $20,000. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, and then painting and then, you know, the light fixtures, you know, and all this, you know, these stuff. Um, uh, they made this at my son's school, so, but, you know, and on top of that, I do my own electrical, you know, so, um, and then I did my own floors. Flooring, people charge a lot for that. So it's a lot of stuff that um, I do myself. So that's why I'm able to, so if you're a DIY, DIYer or whatever, do it yourself or person, you can save a lot of money here. Um, I actually ran uh, two of my subscribers. They, um, where are they from? Either, is it Philly? I can't remember, but they actually are planning to live here. And um, they caught me on a good day where I just was like, hey, I'll go ahead and give you this information. And I gave them all the information to do their electrical. They did their electrical theirself and everything like that. And, you know, they got, they're coming here. They're coming to live here. So um, I got a lot of YouTube subscribers that I was doing. I had one guy say, I'm just about to pack my stuff and go here. And just move here now. I said, hold on, hold on. You got to have a game plan. You got to have a game plan. And so, you know, it's... So the whole thing is, is that I want to just stress to you all is have a game plan. Have a game plan so that way you're not sitting here saying, I tried this and it didn't work because it may not... Da -da -da -da. Hold on, I just got the email first. Um, have a game plan so that way you can um, be able to. Uh oh, gotta get the crock, so let me get my other phone. I think somebody sent me a uh, uh, email. Got my crock, so put them in sports mode. Yeah, have a game plan so that way you can. Um, you can be able to be prepared for um, your renovation. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay. That's my phone's in a truck. So. Yeah. So, um,. Y'all have any other questions before I get off this good live? Because I was trying to get off like two times until a couple people asked more questions. <laughs> Thor, can you chill out, sir? Do you want to go? You want to go outside? You want? These floors, I sanded and stained those. All right, all right, all right. God dang. Knock me down. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I guess that's about it. And, uh, Noah, hey, you, uh, you, you got a basketball game today, don't you? So, why are you not getting ready? When is your basketball game? Why I gotta ask her? I'm asking you. You don't know? You didn't eat your chicken last night? What, what's going on, sir? Staying on kids. Yep. So, all right. Well, again, we got 17 people on right now. Uh, thank you for watching. Find your favorite video of mine and just play play through it. Play through it. <sighs> I'm not about to deal with this this foolishness. <sighs> dun 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 dun. Hold on. I'm um, trying to find where you guys were commenting on. Let's see here. I, I can't even find the dang old comments. 
Okay. Um, so, no more questions. Let me look at this chat real quick. And I'm about to get off. View chat options. This thing. Okay, let's see here. What's the email? Oh, for the algorithm. <laughs> hey, do you? Um, do you ever hunt for deals on appliances? You say once. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, so somebody asked, do I hunt for deals for appliances? Um, okay, so somebody asked, do I have to, if you buy it, if you have a two-family flat, do you have to redo both sides? Well, typically our two-family flats are on top of each other. So... You have to finish one, one uh, project at the time. At, at a, you have to finish. The, she, <laughs> you have to do one uh, floor at a time. So I mean, no, I'm sorry. You have to finish one apartment up to uh, compliance. But the other compliance, uh, the other, the other. Um, uh, <laughs> oh man um, the other so you have to finish one unit up to compliance so I mean a functioning bathroom functioning kitchen and hot water taken furnace all the exterior doors are in um, but it only requires one unit to be ready so in my experience do the unit work top to bottom if it's if they're on top of each other, um, if you have a, you know it. <laughs> we uh, where you get the nice chairs in the kitchen. Oh, um, I gotta ask. I gotta ask my wife. Hold on. Um, I think she ordered them. Hey, hey, Britt, Brittany. The people want to know where you got the nice uh, chairs at in the kitchen. Amazon. You got them from Amazon? All right, send them to me so I can send it. So the, the chairs for the the chairs for the kitchen, I'm a, huh? They're sold out? Right now? Well, I can still send it to them. They might get them back sometime, right? Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. So they she got them on Amazon. So I'll, send, I'll put the... Um, Shoot me an email, hero squad. Man, I'll get tossed. <laughs> hero squad dot pm at gmail dot com. Yep, and then I'll send it over to you. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. What else? Thank you for the information. You are very helpful and knowledgeable. I'll be trying. My wife be talking. About, I talk to her no much. So I'm glad to see you still doing it, bro. Hey man, I got to. I got to. I got to. <laughs> oh man, look. I'm just trying to get it. I just said I want to chime in with y'all good people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we gotta get it. So I mean, y'all better ask me these questions, man, before I get before I get too Hollywood and I'll be like, dang, I ain't I got so many, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? But I know I ain't gonna do that to y'all. I'm a, I think I'm gonna do a um when my Instagram get to, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, y'all gotta get my Instagram followers up so that way I can get, um, I can do the whole subscription based thing, and then I could just do solely uh, contact for the uh, content for you all. Hey, do you have any good chemical contractors? I got two places. I would like to get done. Yeah, man. Yeah. Send me an email. Look, send me an email. HeroSquad.pm at gmail.com. Oh, wait. You said they in stock? All right, bet. All right, my wife said them chairs are in stock. Um, So I'm going to put it on there. Yeah, man. We do it all. We got contractors for everything. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. My contact stuff is in the uh, in my bio of my other videos. But if you still need to get in contact with me, just go on one of my videos and just ask for my contact information, and I'll reply back to you with my email address. 
So that's that's how we do it. So if you want to get in contact with me, just boom, boom. Okay, you do? Okay, gotcha. I will follow you on Instagram. Yeah, so my Instagram. Also, if you look at my thumbnails, my Instagram name is on there too. So it's the underscore real underscore Calvin M. Yeah. Um what else? What else? Let me try to look at the live again. Alright, good. Got you doing on. Okay, so if you keep doing it for the algorithm. Miss Allen is uh one of my dopest subscribers. Her and her husband bought a house in Detroit. Uh, I think they're from Chicago and they're coming here, coming back to Detroit. And I I, uh, I went over there, rewired their house. And when I tell you the Allens are some do-it-yourselfers, when I, she told me, I'm going to do my own water setup, I said, all right, okay. Man, I, next time I came back over there, she got her water meter set up, everything. I said, no, look at you. Her and her husband gave me getting to it. Um, uh, my guys rebuilt the front part of our house, redid her kitchen floor, and um, I, I practically uh, I rewired her whole house for her and uh, put in her service and everything like that. And they they ready, they ready. They got a beautiful house um, and. Um, I was glad I was able to help them out. And she was always the one, if you ever look at my videos and say, for the algorithm, she did. <laughs> I'd be correct. That's why I was laughing so much. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I take care of everybody that, you know, rocks with me. I take care of you. I practically, shoot, her electrical, she practically didn't even pay for her electrical because I, I, she only really paid for materials, to be honest with you. But um you know, but I, I take care of everybody that rock with me. You know, you come in here, you show showing love to the city. We, I rock with you. So, um, <sighs> okay. So, let's see here. So, again, if you just uh, chiming in, the next three days are, well, I guess the next seven days are very important for my YouTube channel because I'm literally right there. Yeah, Miss Allen. Yeah, we know you some DI. They be getting to it. Watch. Her house practically, really, y'all could really just move in for real, for real. I don't know why y'all playing. Just go ahead and come up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so right now, the next seven days is, is really big for my channel. Because right now, I'm at that threshold. And once I hit that threshold, once I get... Um, once I get uh, everything how I'm supposed to do as far as monetization, I don't know why it took so long, but of course, I only have, I, I believe I only have a certain amount of, um, a certain audience or whatever. So, um, and I think a lot of people are now catching on to like, hey, dang, what's going on in Detroit? And then they type it on YouTube and now I'm popping up. So I appreciate it. All right, back. Okay, I appreciate it. Yep. So every little, every little bit helps. Right now, I'm right there because once I get that uh, YouTube money, I'm literally like, hey, it's gonna be a lot of, you know, I'm not gonna really be that influencer that's gonna be just, hey, pay me twelve thousand dollars or. $3,000 just to be a part of my team. I ain't doing none of that stuff. I'm not, I'm like this, that money could be going towards your house. You feel me? <laughs> like, I'm not, we're not doing that. Um, it may be something else like, hey, just buy my merch or something. You know what I'm saying? Just buy my merch. That'll support my channel and stuff like that. I was gonna do the whole, what, do a, what's it called? A, um, a thing where you pay for a um, class or something like that. I may do, um, I was thinking about doing a 
um, a meetup where we go walk through some of the properties that um, that we have renovated. You know, just do like a little tour or something to that effect. I mean, I see a lot of people have done that. So I'm thinking about doing that. <clears throat> um, maybe with two, two particular properties. So if you're in the Metro Detroit area and you're interested in that, um, send me just, uh, just comment maybe at the bottom of this video because you just saw it, say I'm interested in doing the Detroit tour. And then that way I can see, I just want to gauge to see how many people really will want to do that, will meet me in person. Of course, I'll, try, I'll make the tickets affordable, you know, um, not, not going to beat you over the head, maybe like 50 bucks or something like that. And, you know, hey, y'all could come to the city, chop it up with me. Maybe I might um, see if I get a lot of feedback. If people really want this to happen, then, you know, maybe we can probably, I might do a little barbecue. We sit back, chop it up, talk. Let's, you know, network. Maybe I can get some of my skilled trades and some of my con contractors to be here. So that way you can rub elbows with the people that you can probably potentially have work on your property. <clears throat> so that's what I think I may do. I actually may even do it on one of my, um, one of maybe probably one of my side lots or something like that. Hey, maybe just do a meetup or something like that. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to put something together this summer for sure. Um, and we, we can definitely go from there. So, um, and uh, first, I'm gonna just get see if I can find some more contractors. Uh, um, well, well, we got actually we got a lot of contractors for sure. So, for, um, definitely. Um, and honestly, um, and I can definitely probably get the land bank there too, to probably even have them answer any questions because they um, they actually want me to. I think they got an event coming up that I gotta go to. So. Yep, so if you're interested in me hosting uh, either Detroit meetup, Detroit get together, rub elbow, just say, hey, interested in the meetup, interested in Detroit tour or whatever, just, I'm so every video, I want to, I want to just gauge to see what this, what that looks like and see how we can set this up and then I'm just going to promote it. Um, but when I put it together, I'm going to put it together. It's going to probably get so everybody can get, um, so everybody can get time to actually see it and be a part of it. It's probably, I'm going to probably try to <clears throat> plan it maybe two months out or whatever, probably maybe plan it in July or whatever, or something like that. If we get enough people. Da, 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 da. See, appreciate you, Miss Allen. I appreciate you. Um, that's definitely. Oh yeah, the uh, Detroit Land Bank messed with me for real, for real. So like, literally, um, I can. Uh, all I gotta do is make a phone call. So um, definitely, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, um, and we can probably, you know, put something together. So um, let's see here. What else? Oh, again, so yes, watch the videos. Find your favorite Calvin video when I'm all talking my, cra uh, talking my crazy stuff or whatever. Um, also, make sure you guys like this video. So I need you to like this. So hit, it should be a like on here. It's like this or whatever. So that way, YouTube will say, hey, this is a good video. We got a lot of likes. Let's let everybody else see it. So um, other than that, um, that's about it. That's all I got. I appreciate you all. You got any other questions before I log off? Because my mouth is getting dry. And I'm hungry. Brittany. You going to cook? Why? The people didn't comment and say they like your chairs in the kitchen. And I can't get... I. Bro, I don't know we can't even get nothing to eat. That's crazy. This is beyond me. But let's see here. All right. Well, I guess we don't have any more questions. Wait, wait. Do we got some more? Okay.
picture. You know what? That's crazy. So somebody said do the whiteboard. So I'm not good at that type of stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I'm good at I don't know. So get a whiteboard and get the We want to do something. Yeah, we want to do something. Master class or something. Yeah, I know. We definitely gonna have to do something. <laughs> Britt Brit need to get up and make me some food. That's what she need to do. You know what I'm saying? Brittany, Miss Allen, Miss Allen said I need to leave you alone. Huh? I do not. You need to. You talk to your YouTube friends. I could talk to you and my YouTube friends. So, is we gonna get something to eat or not? What you mean, shush? Brittany. 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 So you're just not gonna answer me? You can rebuild the truck, but can't get a meal. That's crazy. That's crazy. I am flabbergasted. All right, well, okay. All right, let me check this again before I get off of here. I don't want nobody feeling looking like that. Man, I'm trying to tell you, it's crazy, man. I'm trying to, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some food. <laughs> she, I mean, she playing. Like, I'm trying to get some food. Like, she don't even want to. I'm about to put you on, if you don't give me no food, you about to be put on YouTube. Hmm? You're not embarrassed? So you're not going to make nothing to eat? That's why you don't have enough YouTube followers. I do got enough YouTube followers. Why you a hater? I'm just saying. If I was watching somebody, I'd be a click on. You were watching somebody? Okay, you know what? You see, dang, it be your own people that be haters. It be your own people. They be right next to you. They actually sleep right next to you and they be haters. See, they said they said you need to get up and cook. They need me strong. You feel me? Hunger builds character. Hunger builds character? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. This video, this YouTube video then went left real quick. It went left real quick. We was doing good. Huh? Everything you do goes No, no, it doesn't. So what you gonna do? I'm not leaving until we get something like for real. Okay, I'll make some breakfast. What what you'll make? I don't know yet. We got well we gotta go. What time is the game? We gotta be there at eleven forty five. Okay, so it's eleven forty we gotta be at the game at eleven forty five. Okay, so we can definitely get some bacon and eggs. Oh, this is crazy, bro. She's like playing. <laughs> Miss Allen said, I'm about to catch these hands. <laughs> Shout out to the two people that still left watching. It ain't two people, it's 16 people. Why you a hater? Why she gotta be a hater? Talk about, talk about. Shout out to the two people that still watching. You know what? We could do. They said, make me a meal, please. So somebody said, how about renting the school uh, tour bus? So you know what? We could do that. I remember the the uh, lady, Chase Hunter, I think she had did a tour bus. But then it's like, that's a lot of money. Now I got to now I gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we could do that. So that probably could be a set. Maybe that could be like a VIP type of experience or something like that. I ain't about to pay for all that. I mean, so y'all, we, <laughs> we all pay for it together. You feel me? Um, maybe that. Maybe we could do something like that. Um, <laughs> they say, get, Brittany, they not playing with you. They like, look, they about to pull up. Hey, look, hey. My subscribers are like the beehive. You feel me? They don't play no games. They said, look, you, it's about to get bad for you. 
the cow gang to pipe down. The cow gang? That's what you call them? The cow gang? The pipe down? Okay. She crazy, bro. They say get a tour bus. I want to, hey, we need to look up some prices on bus costs around $400. Shoot, I feel like it'd be more than that. Mark, uh, send me a, uh, I don't know. I would rather have like a black bus or something like that. You know, I don't know. Mm. Bro, this one. <laughs> look, my, one of my subscribers, look. So he was like, so you know, I t made a video about people leaving the plastic on their windows. Like the little, the stuff showing people they got new windows. So he like, he said he can't get his side chick to take off the dang on, uh, plastic he said i can't get my side chick to take the plastic off the microwave and then he just said i finally got my side chick to take the plastic off the microwave i'm dead and i feel like he's dead serious though like I, like seriously oh i'm dead but so what's up with the uh food though why me and my subscribers gotta leave? They've been here. From, they've been here since the beginning. They've been shooting in the gym would be since 2016. So the one said, "Get up and get this bacon." This is crazy, man. This is so. Y'all say bus rentals is like 400. I'm just trying to get yeah. well. Get the big get rent a big school bus. You know what? I'm gonna look into that. Maybe we could do something like that, and then. Hmm. Okay, so if I were to do a school bus, yeah, but I would want one of them nice buses. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't wanna have y'all in no dang on, you know what I'm saying? Have y'all in no short bus. You feel me? I would rather have like a nice little bus, got some some AC in there and stuff like that. We might be able to do something like that. Maybe I might have to let's go ahead and you know, I'm gonna set that up. We could, we can probably do that. But dang, I, I gotta. Then I have to have hey, y'all. We have to what go, what go somewhere, eat, have some uh some good food, something like that. I don't know. That probably would be straight. Dang, this dang don't need this. Got him. Whoop my butt. Hey, look, I finally got me some Crocs, man, and I got the sport mode on. You hear me? You feel me? I got the sport mode on, but I gotta turn it off sometimes. I'll be want to run it out. But yeah, you know, I'm a. I, I don't know. So we probably could do I'm going to pray for Brittany. They say they about to pray for you. They say they gonna pray for you. That's crazy. They about to sit here and try to, you know, what I'm saying, move some mountains because you, my wife won't cook me no food. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know what? You... No, why are you bringing my trainer into this? He ain't got nothing to do with this. He told me to eat some meat. He said, you need to make sure you got a lot of protein. That's what he said. She talking junk now. I don't want no tuna. We ain't even got no tuna. You went and bought tuna? Oh my God. I always have to. Let's see here. What y'all, man? We trying to get to this paper. Pack, pack. Dog say, we trying to get to this pack. Pack some lunch. Hey. Is it ever too late to get into electrical or trade? <clears throat> no, absolutely not. Um, I am. I I have always been, you know, good with my hands and stuff like that. <clears throat> and my dad has always, you know, taught me the fundamentals of electricity, which is if you're changing our light light switch or whatever, make sure it's turned off and you can turn the light fi fixture or whatever. Um, but um, it's a couple schools that can give you like a crash course on becoming an electrician. And then you can either go to the union I think it's local, it's either local 51 or local 58. I can't figure, but it's an electrical union in Detroit. Um, but 
I went and got my, um, well, I did the 16 week course to get my certificate. And then I found out, um, uh, I ended up I already had a master electrician. I was going to work up under him to be his apprentice. And then I found out I actually have to be registered as an electrical apprentice. So, um, I applied with the state, um, to become a, uh, to get my license to get to be an electrical apprentice. Cause I didn't know you had, I didn't, I didn't know apprentices had to have a license as well too. So I got my license with that, you know, um, but I had to, but you have to be either finished a school that is what is it called. It has to be recognized by Laura, the uh, uh, Michigan labor or something or whatever. So basically it has to be a school. <clears throat> huh? I think it's the Michigan Department. Yeah, she said it was Michigan Department of Labor. So I actually had to uh, <clears throat> enroll. You have to either be currently enrolled or finished a class. So I had to re-enroll, even though I have all the training and everything like that. So I so I can get my license or whatever. And you know, of course, you can do it at your own time or whatever. But um, but um, I've been blessed to um you know, get contracts with uh, Habitat for Humanity, which is a great nonprofit. Um, so I wire up a lot of their homes. You know, I have met their higher ups and um, their project manager. Um, they're, they're, they're great. Uh, they got a great team over there, over the Detroit area. So I do a lot of their electrical work. Actually, I'm probably gonna be doing, I got two houses of theirs um, on the east side that I have to do um coming up so you all will see that on my youtube channel um so it's, it's great just being an electrician i ain't gonna lie to you um because at the end of the day i'm able to work with my hands be able to provide you all a service and at the same time my biggest thing was is not trading so much time for money so i'm able to sit here and give you guys an affordable rate good quality work kill two birds with one stone and get good content so that's you know this she, oh boy i think she in the kitchen she in the kitchen what you doing in there Brittany? Brittany, i promise you if you get if you uh messing with that dang on tuna fish it's gonna be a problem what? you talking about some tuna fish i don't want no tuna fish And why would you buy tuna? Why would we ever need tuna in the house? It's a very healthy protein. I eat tuna all the time. You eat tuna all the time? Yeah. So your breath be stinking. Your breath be stinking. I have gum. You have gum? You can't just be masking stuff with gum. I'm, I'm, I ain't over it. But yeah. That's I am losing weight. Ooh, because you go to the gym every morning at 5 o'clock. Now you want to talk junk? You can't even, but you you can't even lift 100 pounds. Yet. Yet? All right. Bro, you know how the people, man, you know, people be killing me. They go to the gym every morning now. Only, only for a month. It only been a month. It ain't been no two whole months. It has lies. Lies. You st you wasn't going every day. This is crazy. I am I'm not about to play with you. This is crazy. I definitely start going to the gym. It's currently April. It's crazy. She talking about she been going. Mom, what's today's date? Bank calling me. I ain't, ain't killing me, man. No, uh, no, I wanted to. Uh, I, I was talking to him about uh, getting that. Uh, um, they probably called me about that. I wanted to open up a uh, what's the name over there? <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, Hey Brittany, so we gotta look up some uh, look up pricing for 
a tour bus. They're saying they want to do a tour bus. Okay, so we got... Okay, so one person emailed. Okay, truth. Somebody want me to go to the... Um, I don't want no turkey sausage. I swear to God, these poor turkeys. Y'all just out here killing these turkeys, bro. This is crazy. Yep, I just got your email, bro. Scrambled eggs. Thank you. Bet we're going to chop it up, my brother, for sure. Hey, you know what's crazy? My wife just bought some lamb. We just bought some lamb chops yesterday, bro. These things like big. I ain't gonna cat. She was supposed to make them yesterday, but I don't understand what the problem is why she couldn't make the lamb chops yesterday. I was tired. You was tired. Mm -hmm. You were tired. Now, if I told these good YouTube people that I was tired, I ain't feel like throwing up this drywall five o'clock, what, what, seven o'clock in the morning after doing an eight hour shift. And then I'm sitting here, you know, but it is what it is. It is. It sure is. And it ain't what it ain't. Hello? Yes, who's speaking? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. No, we're not. Um... Hold on real quick. Um, can you... Hey, Brittany, can you take this call real quick? Because it was the guy about the... Um, the what's his name? You remember that, that uh, we had uh, talked about that cleaning thing? Here. Can you explain to my wife what, you, what the services is? Thank you. All right. Hello. I'm well. Yeah, I ain't want to tell her all my business on here. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we definitely can link up. Hey, can we hear the guy on the? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> no, you can't hear the guy on the phone. I'm dead. Um, dang. Okay, so, all right, man, it's been dope. I'm gonna have to do this live thing more often. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hey, you know what? We could have a live where it's just, hey, we chick kick back okay, and do so the whole. We, have, we don't have carpet, um, but we do have a in our living room. Yeah, yeah. But um, let's see here. Um, Miss Annie, I see. <laughs> oh, Miss Allen, I just meant to tell you. You know the guy that I, uh, the guy that I referred to you. You can definitely shoot him a shoot him a text message. And, and just let him know um, who I am. And you can't let him know that. And he'll be able to take care of you. Take care of you about what we talked about the other day. Sometimes we can hear the voice a little bit. Unfortunately, we are getting ready to head to our son's basketball game. So, um, man, I love you. I swear I love you. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Let's see. So we just wanted to gauge um, all right. So, okay. I see somebody follow me. Hey, so if y'all want to follow me and want me to follow you back on Instagram, y'all need to follow me right now. So, so um, we can do, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Everybody that follow me today, I'm about to uh, follow y'all back. <sighs> It's like, like two seats on the actual sofa part and then the long chase part. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that'll work. Um, how about, do you have first thing Tuesday available? Let's see here. Like so, yeah. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, so everybody that follow me, now I'll follow y'all back because I don't really follow people on the Instagram. I said on the Instagram. I sound like an old person. <laughs> Yeah, so it'll be the underscore real. Okay. Wait, the underscore real underscore Calvin M. Let me go for that. So do we have any other questions? So I'ma look into seeing what the cost is for a tour bus. And um Do we have to pay this man for this? No, no. So the company, if I'm not mistaken, the company is trying to they have to get a certain um they have to get a referral. Um, they have to get good. Re Basically, after the service, I gotta give a. I gotta give my opinion of the service, and then after the service, then um, they gotta submit that or whatever. So, hold on. When he, I, I just put the pistol on the table. Cause you know, I don't play them games. Yeah, so they told me they can they told me they can hear the guy's voice a little bit. Dog had a strong voice. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, yo, tell, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna look into seeing what the, the tour bus is gonna cost, and then also maybe just a, a get together. I'm gonna try to keep it as affordable as possible. Might even just do like some type of like cookout on some.